I team is learning new details in the case of a St. Louis County woman who investigators believe is connected to the overdose deaths of four children. 30 year old Mary Curtis has been sitting in jail awaiting trial. Today she tried to get out on bond because it turns out she is pregnant. News 4 investigator Susan L. Corey was in court and joins us with the new developments. We just learned about this pregnancy and Mary Curtis is trying to use it to get out of jail, arguing the safest thing for her unborn baby is her at home. Today, the judge sided with prosecutors who believe this baby's best chance is keeping Curtis locked up. Curtis's lawyer says she's about six months along, meaning she would have been early in her pregnancy when she was arrested in March. This case in St. Louis County is the latest one connecting Curtis to the death of a child. In March, prosecutors say Curtis was babysitting a friend's one year old when the child died from a fentanyl overdose. At that time, Curtis was actually out on bond in the case of her own child's death. That's from March 2022 in the city of St. Louis. Her 17 day old baby died from what prosecutors are calling chronic methadone exposure. Those are the two cases Curtis is charged in, but investigators linked her to drug related deaths of two other babies. We learned more about those in court today. Prosecutors say in January 2020, Curtis had twins. Both were born with drug exposure. They died when they were two days old. Prosecutors say Curtis has given birth to eight children. None of them are in her custody and most were born with drug exposure. Certainly a case that we are going to continue to follow. Susan L. Corey, News 4 Investigates. The St. Charles